morning everybody this time yesterday it was 7 30 but today it's 8 30 because we lost an hour due to daylight savings time and i'm really sad so it's 8 30 i am going to the gym i'm going to meyer and i'm gonna do some meal prep who the funk gonna drink me my pre-workout and gonna get going since i did that 5k yesterday i think i'm just gonna do like a leisurely walk on the treadmill no exertion just movement active recovery i think that's what anti-gravity gains calls it so yes i'm gonna do that uh maybe lift some weights but light day in the gym i'm over it let go No? Okay. You should watch that episode. It's hilarious. Fleslet on the beat. just small they didn't have a lot of selection and everything was literally a dollar more expensive than anywhere else I've ever seen it like just overpriced not what I was looking for this is why I don't go anywhere because I never have luck finding anything people all over the interwebs they go to stores and they find things I don't find anything and I just drive all over the damn city wasting time so now, out of sheer desperation, I have to go to one of my least favorite places ever. So, thanks world. So I guess it's just not in the cards for me to have ramekins. Like, I didn't know I was going to look for the most difficult thing in the world to find. I went to 97 different places and I didn't give me no ramekins. I'm done, I'm over it. On my way home, meal prep.
All right guys, I am done with meal prep for the day, so let's take a look. Right here we have ground beef and broccoli. So surprise, no eggs this week. I've kind of just been over it. I've been having eggs <laughs> for like the past couple months. So I'm having a lunch and dinner, no breakfast. Now I'm actually making with this ground beef, barbecue bacon cheese ground beef. So here's the bacon. And I also chopped up some jalapeno and onion to put on it. So it's kind of going to be like a ground beef burger. And then here's the barbecue sauce I use. It's a sugar-free barbecue sauce, two net carbs per two tablespoons. It's about to be lit. And then for dinner or my second meal, I'm going to have a salad again. Like I'm going to have to eat those till I'm sick of them too. I am loving them. Like last week I was, like literally licking the bowl, like trying to get everything out of the salad. Like I am feeling that. So you saw me fry up my chicken. Um, and then I just put Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, pumpkin seeds, which taste exactly like sunflower seeds, which I wish someone would have told me and I wouldn't have bought them, but I put those on there uh, as well as sprouts. Oh my God. I mean, I legitimately love that. So that's what I'm gonna be having for my second meal. And then for snacks, I made the peanut butter fat bombs. I put more sweetener in them and these are delicious and I am satisfied. So it's almost time to go shoot the podcast, but I'm gonna have a little snack before I go over there. So let's see. I'm having one of these whole grain crisp breads from Trader Joe's that my boo Kayla Keto hipped me to. I am doing it her style with a little peanut butter, but then I added some flair and put some chocolate chips on there. What? For real, those four egg cups that I had today for breakfast, so filling, like I'm not even really hungry, so I'm gonna eat this as a snack, and then when I come home from the podcast, I, I still got three pieces of bacon left, so there's that. Alright guys, some bonus footage. Uh, as you saw, I just whipped up a bacon and egg sandwich with some mug bread. I had never made mug bread before, so hopefully this tastes good. If you can't find a ramekin, you'll use a mug. Uh, trying to figure out what I'll have for dessert after this. I might be in the mood to whip up some cream. Who knows? But that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment. Also subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Also ding the notification bell so you get notified whenever I put up a new meal prep, weigh in, or the occasional recipe. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.